It's a staple in many Australian pantries, but it turns out Vegemite is now being used to brew booze in remote dry communities, and the government wants it stopped. And they say the only way to make that happen is to pull it from the shelves. Hello, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Watch. And who would have thought it? Booze being brewed from our iconic Aussie spread. That's almost all the media called it. No wonder Vegemite powered into the headlines just about everywhere last weekend. And not just in Australia. It is the story that's spreading across the world. Because we love our Vegemite. And has politicians lost for words? Are you serious? Regulating Vegemite? Good God. Yes, the tale of those naughty little Vegemites made news around the globe with a horde of heavy hitters like the BBC, the Times of India, America's National Public Radio and the South China Morning Post all swallowing the story. And while it was hard to believe that Vegemite was fermenting all that trouble, the source was no less than a government minister in an exclusive interview with Brisbane's Sunday Mail. Addiction spreads. Vegemite fuels scourge. Indigenous Affairs Minister Nigel Scullion has exposed the tragic trend, describing Vegemite as a precursor to misery in many communities where women are beaten and children neglected. And what exactly was Vegemite's role in this drunken mayhem and escalating chaos? Well, as the Sunday Mail explained... The yeast product is being made into alcohol in large quantities, sometimes in bathtubs in backyards. Adults and even young children are getting drunk on the homebrew, which at times is mixed with orange juice. Senator Scullion said children in some communities were too hungover from all-night benders to go to school. Now, alcohol is certainly wreaking havoc in some Indigenous communities. But did the Sunday Mail or any of the others who seized on the story bother to check if Vegemite was really to blame? It seems they did not. It was just too good a story. But when Media Watch contacted the People's Alcohol Action Coalition in Alice Springs, they told us... I bet you're calling about the Vegemite story. It's just gone completely feral and I have no idea where it came from. I've never ever heard of Vegemite being used. It's just ridiculous. To be doubly sure, Media Watch contacted every dry community in Queensland to find almost all of them laughing at us. All 15 councils said they knew nothing of Vegemite being used in their communities to make alcohol. And only one, Mornington Island, admitted homebrewing is a problem. But the media's failure to make basic checks on this story does not stop there, because they also failed to ask the $64,000 question, which is, can alcohol actually be made from Vegemite? According to the manufacturer, the answer is no. Recent reports suggesting Vegemite can be used to brew alcohol are incorrect. Vegemite cannot be fermented into alcohol. But why not? Brewing alcohol needs yeast, as well as sugar and water. And isn't yeast what Vegemite contains? Well, no again. According to Mondelez and food tech experts at UNSW... Vegemite is made from yeast, but the yeast cells are autolyzed, broken and killed with heat during the process. It could not start a fermentation. You see, Vegemite is a yeast extract, and all the actual yeast has gone, leaving lots of salt, which tends to kill any fermentation process. So, has anyone corrected the story? Well, Prime Minister Abbott has made it clear he won't be banning the spread, but to our knowledge, only SBS and the ABC have said the claims were wrong. So how did it become a story? Minister Scullion's media advisor, Jan Lemaitre, told MediaWatch it's all a beat-up, and the minister never suggested Vegemite was being used to make alcohol or that home brewing was widespread. And she claims Sunday Mail journalist René Valaris misquoted him. Well, we've listened to the tape of the interview and we can assure you Mr Scullion does say both those things. And in particular... Wouldn't it be terrible to ban Vegemite? Well, it's a precursor to misery in some communities. He said. Want to hear the real thing? Here's the recording. Wouldn't it be terrible to ban Vegemite? Well, look, as it's, it's a precursor to misery in a community. It's often hard to know who to trust when it's between a journalist and a politician. But in this case, the minister seems to have performed even worse than the media. He was totally wrong. They made it headline news without bothering to check.